Welcome to TJ Militaria. Today we're going to talk about the Outfit First Aid Large for Armoured Fighting Vehicles. Now, these um, boxes here, they're nice, sort of real sturdy construction, sort of metal, there's nothing going to break on there. As you can see, the box is it's pretty, it's in a little bit of action, I would say, or being thrown around a bit. I do have uh, another couple on the website of similar. This, um, this one here, which is the Outfit First Aid General Large. As you can see, it's a much cleaner box and a sort of much nicer box. It probably, they're almost identical, but the one underneath is um, slightly larger, only slightly. Um, you've obviously got the crow's foot on the outside. You've got two very simple catches on the front here. Now, opening the actual first aid kit, inside hit the lid you actually have a contents lid at list now the observant amongst you are going to notice that there's actually a nato stock number on the top of this um, uh, list of contents here now these contents lists were amended after the war and these first aid kits were actually used post 1945 and uh, because obviously that have made a quite a significant amount of them what they did though was in the original kits there was more sort of a, a lot more sort of I believe sort of medication type medicines in there and they obviously removed certain parts and then they've redone these uh, the stock lists reflecting that so i'm going to put that over there so now inside the first thing you actually get is a real big smell of sort of wax and you, you as you can see here you've got wax paper which nicely opens up here and nicely opens into the contents of the actual kit. Now I'll just move that so you can see in, uh, what's actually got inside here. Now on initial observation you can actually see we've got the majority of the contents of the actual um, kit still inside. Now what we'll have a look at the first is we can have a look at the, the car key open wove bandage. Now this is three inch and it's a it's got a, a a yardage of four yards now i think this one doesn't actually have the dates on but I, inside the kit here you've actually got one two three car key bandages here i've got them over there and then on here we've got a compressed banded triangular dpc again it's um this one here just can show you that the boxes are from the Second World War. This is TJ Smith and Nephew Limited, Hull, England, October 1940. Now, I put that over here. Um, some of these finger dressings and things like that, they've not changed since, since the war. And uh, they're sort of very similar as what you actually get now in modern day first aid kits. But obviously you can see here there's a number of small finger dressings I suppose on armoured vehicles you're going to catch those fingers in lids etc um, at the top here we've got the classic shell dressing now this is um, made by Johnson & Johnson and is dated May 1941 nicely intact nice shell dressing um, moving on further around here we've got a, a plastic eye bath which is wrapped up in what I would say would what weapon parts would be wrapped up in that sort of waxy paper here so uh, obviously for using on the eye you've got an absorbent gauze, absorbent gauze compressed now it's quite ironic that they still use compressed gauze in the military now almost identical to this and how it's sort of hasn't really changed since the actual uh, second world war um, going over to the top of the first aid kit here we've got sewed to bicarbonate bp now made by t h smith limited and there's four ounces on there now this is a nice old glass for it's got four ounces on the bottom um i'm not sure of the date on there i'm not going to open it but it's um it's a nice vintage ale dated bottle oh. um going round them here we've got another absorbent gauze here um white Again, which is very similar to the, um, the, 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 the larger one here. Now then, going over to 
here we have the these are all wax these boxes by the way we've got the large medicated number 12 dressing made by bpc bpc is is on sort of many medical products from this era as uh, we've we've got some raf first aid kits which have got number 12 and they've got bpc inside of here we actually have four of those and on the other side we've got three number 11 dressings yeah now tuck nicely under here we've got a khaki wove oh sorry a khaki open wove bandage again nice um you can you can smell them actually they, they've got that sort of waxy sort of military smell that um you know vintage stuff has now inside here i'm not sure what this is actually for but it's dipromo promamide cream uh, I'm not going to, whether or not I've said that right, I'm not sure. But uh, there's three of them in here, and they look like they've been um, trodden on, to be honest. But I think somebody's actually just emptied them out. Now, there is a date on there, and it's something, the 5th of the 5th, 1940. So, again, another bit of kit that dates this kit back, which which is interesting, bearing in mind the actual contents, of this, which has been amended does actually have a NATO stock number on it, and I'm not sure exactly when the NSM was bought in, but I believe it was probably mid fifties, uh, early sixties. So uh, it does show that these, uh, these kits were used for a considerable period after the second world war. Now this will show you again, the, this, this here is a, what is it? It's an F med 26. Now this was revised on here, 1961. So as you can see on here, you've got the pretty similar to what you get nowadays in uh, med packs. You've got the service number, rank grade, unit. You've then got um, the whether or not morphine has been sort of given, antibiotics. You've got tourniquet applied, time. Uh, a couple of bit. These are in French as well, so obviously it's uh, a multi-use um, uh, assessment form. And on the back of there, you've got the classic male body and front and rear. Now, looking at modern day ones now, this has not really changed. There's a few modifications in here, of course, like most things, but it's um, it's fundamentally the same as the Second World War ones. So I'll pop that back inside of there. So just a very quick video just to show you uh, the contents of one of these kits and how they're actually carried on use after the second world war and well into the 60s which um, this kit has subsequently been and how they actually utilized dated kit and sort of more modern products in, in for fundamentally second world war kits now if anybody's interested just check out my website we've just sold a lovely lifeboat um sorry a lovely air crew outfit for a four to ten people um recently to the states which i'm um, really pleased about very difficult to get hold of we do actually have a, an individual um, first aid outfit for pilots it's a late war early 50s version which obviously connects on to the uh, equipment of a pilot so um, look forward to the next video um, if anybody's got any questions or wants to ask for any 